Hello and welcome to this Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw Photo Paint tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at creating a depth of field or model effect. And we're going to be using a mask and a blur tool that's found in Photo Paint. Let's say you have an image like this. It's just a pretty basic scenery shot. It's got a, a little bit of everything. Something close, something far away, and something in the middle area. And what you want to create is an effect that makes it look a little bit more uh, like there's a depth of field, almost like if you're taking a photo of a model that you had created. You can see that effect where it goes from blur to being in focus. Sort of that, that it, from a photography viewpoint, uh, it, it's sort of a selective focus or a depth of field. So parts of it are going to be blurry, parts of it will be in focus. And you can do that using Photo Paint. First thing we want to do is select the planner mask right here, which sets up these little guidelines. And the what this is for is it allows you to align text right along these lines if you wish. Today we're not going to do that, but again, you could do this for you know any project that you're working on. You can use this uh, as an alignment tool. What I'm going to do is sort of get this situated center over my barn here, and I'm going to expand it just a bit, and I'll show you why in just a second here. So I've got my mask. Remember, this is a mask. And the effect I'm going to use is a blur effect. And it's the bokeh blur. And this has a number of settings. Defaults in. It's got a blur amount. It has the feather of the edge itself, which is very nice because that keeps from being a hard edge. If you just did a rectangle mask and, and it gave it a blur effect, you'd have a, uh, you could have a, a hard edge. Um, and then you can also affect the focus range. So that's the amount of image that is going to be in focus. So you can play with these and uh, get you know the effect exactly as you want it. I'm going to change this just a little bit so we can see the difference. It updates. And I'll change it the other way significantly. Let me drag this over here. And you can see the difference. See, it's taking a little while. I'm asking it to do a lot more when I crank it way up like that. And you can see that uh, the blur effect being applied here and here encroach into the image itself. So that's, that's what the uh, blur amount will do for you. I'm going to put it back down to something a little bit more reasonable. And I'll say OK to that. I'm going to then select off and then I'll even remove the mask altogether so we can see the final product. So you can see here that we've got part of the image left alone and part of the image has been blurred, so it gives it a bit of that depth of field. It's as if your camera setting allowed for only this section to be in focus. And uh, this is an effect that you see a lot with like uh, models that are taken. So someone who creates a scene, a train set, or a model of a city, or what have you, and they'll get down there and they'll they'll take pictures of it. This kind of gives that effect to that. And of course, you know, you can use this for any variety of things um, that you see fit. The second part of this is using the same mask, but I'm going to show you that there's one other adjustment that you can do, and I thought that this image would uh, look a little better, so we've switched over here. So the same tool is still selected. Obviously, if you need to, you can click this and select it here. It brings in the guidelines. And it's a little hard to see, but you can see where my cursor can change. There's a little square right here that allows you to expand thusly. And then you can obviously affect exactly where you want it to be centered. The other thing you can do, which is very handy, is you can actually rotate it. And you'll notice that um, the handles change. Right here in the middle, it changes from grabbing to rotation or on the side. And then I can just tweak it a little bit to kind of make it go along with the road itself. right? So then this effect is going to go along with the road. Same idea. Go to Blur, OK Blur. And again, because I'm still in the tool, it's remembering the setting that I've had. And I'm going to give that a little tweak. And I'm just going to say OK to that. And you can see the effect is now at an angle. And my guidelines are still showing from the mask. And I can remove that. And you can see it there. So, you know, you could almost imagine little uh, uh, toy soldiers or a cannon or something if you're doing a, a scene uh, uh, from uh, a war or, or a revolution or whatever. Um, you could do all sorts of different things, you know, uh, to kind of make it look almost like it's been in a model set. It's kind of how I view it. 
Uh, I'd love to hear your guys' comments on how you view, what you think this effect is, is uh, speaking to you about. You know, what, 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 is it, uh, what does it bring out in, uh, in your mind when you see this effect with it blurry above and below and uh, a bit of a feathering effect uh, in the middle? Thanks again for watching this Your Business Card Guy tutorial. Today we took a look at creating a, a depth of field or a model effect using the planner mask and the bokeh blur.